Welcome back, everyone, to Blender. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today, <laughs> well, I'm going to show off some of my creations before I, well, get sh show you off my ne show off my next project, at least before I start building it in a moment. That took longer than I'd like. And of course, the damn things get out of, get moved around a little bit too much. Behold, the pioneer! It is complete. Though somewhat out of proportion. Yeah, I forgot to copy in the shuttle bay. I don't think it really matters at this point. I finished it. And there she is. That's the Pioneer. I've handed it over to someone else for texturing because I am not a graphic artist. I can build these ships. Don't, don't frickin' start with me on that one. I can build them, I just can't texture them. Oh well, everyone has their skills. Which brings us to the next boat. Look familiar? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is an updated version of the Kahos class he light cruiser. Although I've heavily, well, kind of reimagined it. Lots of little light disruptor cannons for very big hexagonal heavies, a far better designed head, command pod, and of course an aft torpedo launcher. Again, someone's gonna have to texture this thing and it's not gonna be me. And finally, my latest. My latest model. I know, it looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? It looks like a bird of prey. But that's because it is. But this is no ordinary bird of prey. This. Mihartes is a Centurion class heavy cruiser. Lots of bevels to, well, bring up some detail on this old boat. And of course, some added elements, different design to the warp nacelles. The curve was a bit of a pain to, in to introduce, but what can you do? A few beam disruptors. Aft <laughs> the plasma torpedo launchers are, of course, beveled. No aft facing weapons, which was intentional. After all, Romulan fleet doctrine is basically face the enemy. And, well, not face the enemy. Seek cloak, get close, unload plasma torpedoes, maybe some disruptor blasts, and GTFO. But no. My newest project is probably going to be one that's going to drive me insane. Behold my new target. The Giorgio class. I've made a TMP Warbird, a cross generational Klingon warship, and a TMP boat. So why not continue the trend? Except in this case, go straight for STO. Well, something a little amb more ambitious.
That's a good thing this is somewhat centered. Just flipping it gives me an edge here. <laughs> now... We begin as we begin with all things. A circle. One hundred and forty four edges and shrink it down to match. Let's get it into position. That looks centered and shrink. Okay, somewhat centered. That'll do. In case you're wondering what my big plan is, I'm essentially going to replicate the saucer section. I'm gonna replicate the saucer first, and then... Wow. I'm gonna be making two versions of this thing. One is going to be the dumb version, which you see here, with all the clear kit bashy parts from the Excelsior, as well as a few custom parts from the uh, from STO's dev team. That said, I am also going to be making a far cleaner version, one with one without that stupid cutout in the saucer section, and with the deflector dish mounted. Well, here. Uh, kind of in the vein of the uh, Columbia class. Because that looks cleaner. It looks better, in my opinion. It would arguably make a lot more sense. Now, both are perfectly valid. But that's not the point here. All right. Let's flip this thing. 90 degrees. Oh my god. It's kind of dumb like that. Hi, let's uh, not specify the amount of spin. Let's get this thing back into position. Now I bet you're going to be wondering, how is he going to cut the saucer? How is he going to install that little deflector cutout? Well, the answer is simple. My favorite modifier. Bool! I love the Boolean modifier, okay? Saves time, saves effort. Saves my sanity. Okay, that's one end of the saucer to the other. And... There. All right, let's build us a saucer section. Start with the obvious. Extrude, scale, and to there. Move it slightly so I can keep my perspective. 
and a good clear image of the ortho itself. Now I'm only going to be extruding up until the saw <laughs> until the bridge section. In which case, there I'll just probably make a ver make a clone of the bridge <laughs> bridge of the Excelsior and put it on there. Okay. And scale again to fit. Extrude again. Scale to fit the curve. Extrude again. And... Ta-da! Saucer section! Arguably not the prettiest thing I've ever made. But at the moment, I'm just making a saucer, so... Alright. Saucer is done. Now, let's drop this thing back at the cent... Now, let's keep that thing up there for a little bit. Rotate nine. Rotate 90 degrees. Now to build the bridge module. Remarkably, it's very similar to the Excelsior. And yes, I'm looking at another ortho on another screen. So I guess I don't have to build anything. I just have to... Well, I do have to build, I just don't have to do anything extreme. You know, I'd love this thing to learn that I, verti I go for the lengthways, not the... Anything else. Alright. Whoops. Right there. Well, now it cooperates. All right. Slide.
perfect ish And another extrude. And another scale to... fit. And another extrude. And another scale to fit. Oh, looks like it matches to me. Bridge Dome. Yes, this is how I basically build all my ships. With the exception of the... Well, with the exceptions of the Relentless and the... <laughs> The Centurion class. I know the only thing you're hearing is, will he shut the hell up and put something more musical on, please? We don't want to hear him talk. Hey, I don't want to talk, but uh, everything else is copyright struck. So, there's that. Alright. I know, I'm just making circles and turning them into, sh into different shapes. Okay, scale down to a rough oval. Now let's check the other side of this thing. Huh. Guess I was right. It's a rough oval, which means all is good. That said, I am going to have to add a cube to it. You know, just to serve as the back section of the godforsaken ship. Well, the bridge. At least I think it's a square. That looks like a square to you? Leave thoughts in the comments. For now, though, I'm just going to go with square, 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 and square. Before I put this thing together. But yeah, you can see my general disdain for this thing. It is a literal kit bash. Actually, I might as well invite someone to watch this. There, message sent. Hopefully he'll be able to respond soon. Because I would love to hear his response. Ah. 
Uh, poor Take. <laughs> I make things so much easier for him. Okay, let's face this thing up and hopefully Take shows up soon. Because I would like him to show up. If not, I'm kind of screwed. And you're going to be stuck with hearing me ramble for the next... God knows how long. Okay. Rotate again, 170 degrees, when I really shouldn't have to. What the? Oh, right. Eh, he's probably not going to show up. But what the hell. Ha <laughs> ha! Almost perfect. And slide that in. Uh, damn the fact that this is blurry. Can nobody take any freaking high quality ortho shots? I guess he's going to show up in a bit. For now, though... To be warned, he just told... <laughs> looks like he's going to show up. Though, to be warned... He just woke up. <laughs> Which means he's eating breakfast. Prepare for munchies! And that will that'll do. And finally, leave just enough room for a bridge dome. It's starting to look like something now, isn't it? Okay. Let's get these things lined up before I decide to start merging with my favorite modifier. You could say I'm a fool for bool. <laughs> uh. It appears I got the scale a little wrong. Then again, it's a perfect circle. On top of a... With a... Uh, I'm gonna say almond. Mounted to it. Thank God for intersections, right? This will allow me to modify this... Frame selected. Frame selected. Good lord. And scale. Oh, 
looks like I got the tier right. Now I just need to... <laughs> Love that little tool. Now scale a little fa more. And finally, scale this a lot less. Hmm. The almond bridge is looking a little limp. Take a look at the Excelsior again. Yes, I am looking at another Excelsior bridge. The actual bridge. If this keeps up, I'll have to look at STO. Won't that be a pain? Okie dokie, smoky toki. Scale up slightly. Stack this up a little. Move. Oh, yeah. Looking like a bridge, but it's on backwards. I'm actually going to have to check that. Legendaries. Huh. It is mounted further back, which is odd and somewhat distressing. Well, at least I was right about needing a cube. Or I just got the proportions <laughs> a little bit wrong. Giant cube. <laughs> I'm here. And there's Take. At least now you get to hear us talk shop. <laughs> yeah. Also, don't be... I, also, uh, pardon any munching, no, munching or slurping noises you might hear. I'm doing meds and... Uh, I, well, I'm doing morning meds and having breakfast. I think I already warned them about the Warned my potential viewers about that. Have you guessed what boat I'm making today? Uh, is this uh, this is either the Centaur or the uh, Giorgio? It's definitely the Giorgio. Ah. And I've already gotten a massive amount of progress done on it, hmm. mostly due to the saucer section. Uh huh. Every single one of these parts is custom made. Hmm. Yeah. 
Alright, QB. Let's see. There's a little pipe leading to the Impulse Energizer Crystal. I'll bool that one in. Okay. In case, to, in case you're wondering, Take, my favorite modifier is bool. Ah. Boolean. It fuses. It differentiates. Right. It cuts. Right. And what the oh hmm. Gonna have to rescale the size of the little bridge module. Not that that's a problem. I don't even think this is centered. Okay. Extend that a little. Switch to layout. Double check again. Gonna have to adjust that a little. Increase the size a little. Switch to wireframe so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Looking more like a boat. Mm -hmm. And... There we go. Let's double check the game again. Because I'm looking at STO and the Ornto at the same time. Ah! And... Looks hex-shaped. Correction, it is definitely hex-shaped. So I'm gonna have to extrude that a little. Ah. Well... I will say I do kind. Of, I, I will say the Giorgio is definitely an interesting design. Eh, it's the least worst, worse than a lot. Yeah. In case you're wondering, I don't exactly like the Walker class. Primarily because I view it as a bit of an insult to Star Trek Legacy. After all. Look at the wonder that is the Poseidon class. What well, will you see? A ship that looks so shockingly like the Giorgio. And the Walker. Yep. So I feel a tad bit insulted. Just a tad. Right, I believe that is a finished bridge module. Now I just need to do what do what I love doing. Bool. Yep. Watch this. Okay, circle is this. This is a bridge dome, so... Circle. Not difference, union. Bool. Nice. Ta-da. Bridge. Nice. And bool. <coughs> The bridge is complete.
Yep. Captain on the bridge, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the walker, it's, uh, yeah, obviously don't like the walk. The walker itself is, like, like Ron said, an insult. And also, don't really like it all that much. This thing is decent. I will and be then... making two versions of this thing, just so you're warned. Okay. I'm basically just setting up the saucer. section. And once the saucer's set up, I will be making multiple corrections to it, primarily by installing a far superior gondola. Because yeah. that's literally just a freaking Excelsior... You know, that part near the... between the warp nacelles? Yeah. That's literally just a cutout. Yeah. They literally just transplanted that from the back of the Excelsior class. Here it is. Yeah. Now, to be fair, kit bashing at its <coughs> finest. Yeah. But it could have been done better. And I'm doing it better. Yeah. Now, I will be making two versions. Yeah. And I will say, I do like the Shenzo, the uh, 25th century variant, quite a bit. Yeah it, there's looks, only... yeah, it looks a hell of a lot better. Yeah, there's only one problem. That being? Orange. Ah, uh, yes, our, <laughs> the running gag of everything Tethys nowadays, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> This is red. Red is good. This is orange. Orange is no. Alright, time for the fun part. Alright, let's start with the main body. Let's shrink this, ba this mother down. Hide the saucer section and the bridge dome, so they don't get in the way. And... You guessed what I'm building yet? Is that big block in the rear end? That would be the impulse engines. I've got ah. really good at this. That said, I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew. Right. But oh well, I have become a master of the bull. Yep. Let's center this. At least the center as best I can. Before scaling up. And scaling across. Wide. Way too wide. There, the beginnings of the engine. The <laughs> uh, engineering section. The impulse engines and maybe where the warp core is. I have no idea. Nobody wants to produce an internal layout of this abomination. Yeah, I can't blame them, but someone's going to have to do it sometime. And it's probably going to be me. Because so far, guess what? If no one else is going to do it, I will. 
Yeah. I mean, nobody wanted to reproduce a freaking Relentless. Congratulations. I did. Hell, I showed it off during the... Just before you showed up. Ah. Alright, let's get this thing moved down a little. Okay, down a lot. Yep. This one's going to be an obvious. You can guess what I'm going to be doing with this one. Extrude. And maybe... Yep. Hmm. Let's get the angles right. And... Ooh, too wide. And... There we go. Yep. Extrude again. Move down a little. And... Near perfect. And one last extrusion. Going all the way to the impulse en engine exhausts. Looks like I even got the general shape right. Because there is a bit of a downward bend. Or I extruded in the wrong direction. Okay. Stick to the y-axis, Serrano. Yeah. And... Ta-da! Impulse deck. Of course, I am not done with the impulse stack just yet. I still have to make all these wonderful little details. Yep. Alright, let's rotate this thing another 90 degrees. Why does this thing always, always rotate clockwise? No idea. Alright. Let's commence a bit of a dry fit here. There we go. General shape is there. Hmm. Looks like I did raise the bridge dome just a little too high. Or at least a little too low. Yeah. Looking good so far. have become something of a specialist in recreations. 
Mm. You should see my most ambitious project. -y. Ambitious plan. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Impulse engines. Looks like they flare up a tad, so I guess I'm going to have to go back to editing. <sighs> Extract back. Extrude a little. Scale vertically to there. And extrude again. Ain't that pretty. Of course, there's one slight problem. I've made the underside a little too tall. Mm. Easily fixed. So, what would you... Th so, what do you want in my proper... Less... Ew. ...version of this thing. Hmm. Might as well ask. Well... The warp nacelles seem to be based somewhat on the Excelsiors, but... Yeah. Not quite... Yeah, recreate the nacelles. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Just go full Excelsior on them. Don't, don't, don't go with. The, don't do whatever they. Do. They don't stick with whatever unholy amalgamation hybrid they have. things you learn. Let's scale this back a little. Raise the roof. And extrude a tad. Or not. Gotta make sure this thing fits. Ah. The art of modeling is somewhat esoteric. Yep. Somewhat. And I will fully admit I have not mastered all of it. Mm. And... Hmm. I do not seem to have centered it. There. 
impulse deck. Okay. That said, <sighs> it's a little too wide. Yep. I've just finished breakfast, so I'm going to go oh. take care of a couple of things. I will be right back. Okie dokie. Now that all that's done, and I've scaled this thing appropriately, X90 out of hell with it. Meet my secret weapon. The cube. that a little. And... Hmm. I appear to have scaled it too big. Well, I'm going to fully admit, I am not going to get this perfect. So I'm just going to have to settle for good enough. Let's spin you 90 degree. <sighs> Why does it always do that? Boop a do 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 do. Extrude, extrude, do 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 do. Don't. And Yeah, I'm basically doing this by eye, which, fully admitting, is a mistake. But better to admit the mistake and continue working than to... Wow. 
Watch this. And... It's not perfectly centered yet. Hell, it's not even close to centered yet. Ta-da! And... Looking like a nice impulse cutout, don't it? In case anyone's wondering what I'm doing... This is primarily going to be going to the Bridge Commander, Cr Commander Remastered team. However, this will also be free to use for anybody. For example, I'm also kind of making this thing for Trek Wars Revival. and what I refer to as Home Trek, or Star Trek Continuum Chronicles, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Impulse deck. Bool. Hmm. That does not look right. Ah, I did not center it. And... Looking like a boat. Bull. Now I am not completely done with this thing. I still have to bull off all the excess. <laughs> but she's looking more like a saucer section with every minute. Now let's select everything. And now for the part that I'm secretly dreading. In case anyone's wondering, what is the part that the Housecoat Gamer, the man who is so confident in his modeling skills that he's making probably one of the most complex starships ever made for track, be it official or li be it alpha cannon or licensed beta, that he's actually worried about? The answer... is the main shuttle bay. I am not good with shuttle bays. <laughs> you should have seen my earlier attempts to make the Pioneer shuttle bay. The words utter disaster come to mind. Still, I might as well share my glorious little boat with everybody. And... screenshot.
And Take has probably returned. Yeah, I know, I'm probably... Yeah, I know, I'm gonna have to build up the impulse deck, but... That is a problem for later. Right now, I want to focus on the hardest part of the damn build. Shrink the cube. And... Let's see. Increase the size of the cube. I am going to have to engage in Boolean activities. Lots of Boolean activities. Hmm. Let's move this behind the screen. Fortunately, I can still see all the outlines. Alright. Let's take a look here and see what we can see. Looks to be a... general framework. Well, we're approaching about... well, we just exceeded an hour, so I'm gonna end the vid here. Regardless, I hope you've enjoyed the progress. Lord knows I have enjoyed making the boat. Do 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 Oops. Do 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 I'm gonna say that's I'm gonna say that's good enough. I'll end the vid here, and, well, maybe Take will return. Next time. I have to deal with other STO-involved crap.